yours went up and then went back down. I'm kind of wondering, maybe that's because of your iron man and then your body is recovering. So when you sweat, you might be flushing out extra, you know, from the recovery. But a minute after you said you cramped up, the next one jumped up. Is it? Yeah. So something that the muscles are usually coming to the system. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Because the hypoxanthine, it, it measures more than just like ATP. It has like, it's like, so like, I have to draw a diagram, but like, how do I put it? Like, so glucose, when it breaks down in your, in your, past your anaerobic, you get the lactate. So lactate basically only measures this, but there's more than just glucose that's feeding your ATP. It's fat and other stuff. So hypoxanthine is more complete because it's downstream of ATP. So whatever ATP gets burned becomes hypoxanthine. Yeah, so that's, that's the difference. And then on top of that, this is just one aspect of it. Another aspect is like when like muscles tear, they also break apart and produce hypoxanthine. So maybe it is related.